CSR in Action Advocacy is a non-profit organization which uses uh, system leadership to forge community and corporate governance, primarily in extractive communities, in the ultimate pursuit of sustainable development through social justice and accountability. One of the foremost initiatives of CSR in Action Advocacy is a CETE initiative. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great, great pleasure to welcome you to the 11th CETE conference. It feels like just a dream in 2012 when we hosted the conference for the first time. CETE has really come a long way. I remember when they started sometimes in the early 20, I mean 2012 or thereabout. And now being at the 11th edition, I can actually see the traction from where they're coming from and where they are and then the future has a lot at stake for them. It was an opportunity to discuss sustainability issues and they did for us to have a holistic uh, engagement in environmental management in Nigeria. And what I even enjoyed was the contextualization in the context of Nigeria as a country that allows us to actually see how these, how these global discussions cascade to our own reality. The challenges that we have may not necessarily be uh, where we're located. about holistically looking at all the sectors together, looking at whether all the stakeholders are together, looking at whether everybody that should be at the table actually is already having a seat at the table. That's the essence of the conversation we're having today. Thank you, um, CTE, for um, that wonderful coinage and bringing this conversation to the front burner. And I think this is very timely. With the emergence of the PIA, I think that has given the industry a bit of more clarity, okay, that is required. Certainly, that, and with this clarity, that brings in huge opportunities to the local players, because you can see with the IOCs divesting from most of the oil blocks, so most of our local players are now seizing that opportunity to, to play in that sector. We need to change the narrative, the way we explain here in the ESG. It is in our own self-interest to do what, what is even ESG, environmental, social and governance. So if you have the right employees, if you treat your employees well, you are doing ESG. If you're having proper governance, you are doing ESG. If you have proper waste control, waste management, you are doing ESG. But what is required is how do we get all the necessary stakeholders on the table and start engaging them, explaining to them what ESG is all about and why it is in their interest. If we can fight corruption and bring it to the barest minimum, ESG, we have a, a, you know, a foothold in Nigeria. If you ask many people and say, how do you even improve this organization? Well, their mind will just go to the financials. What I'm going to contribute is one million, and what I'm going to contribute is two million. But interestingly, ESG sometimes actually helps you to grow your financial more than when you don't consider you are ESG. I'm really enjoying it. We've met a lot of people and what's most important to me is the fact that all the questions we've had around sustainability, particularly in the extraction space, it's coming up and they're really relevant questions. So I'm happy that CITI CSR in Action is carrying this activity out and we're happy to be here. So one thing I'm going to take back is everybody has a role to play. This event um, and the car awards um, it's actually a very inspiring event. It's a great place to be. So if you didn't make it this time, please make sure you don't miss it next year. We look forward to having you.